sounded so sincere so it was like kind of hard to tell if it was like a scam or not but I feel like I really just got scammed. I'm scared I hate those things. My mom's car has been heated by one of those before. Really? So we made it to the hotel. <laughs> Anyway. Good morning, welcome to today's vlog. We have made it to the conference place. <laughs> <laughs> Naomi's gonna be photog I always wanna say photographing, <laughs> photographing um, her aunt's conference thing and I'm gonna be helping slash filming slash hanging out. All the above. <laughs> All right, let's go, bye. You decide to not give up as Sarah Sarah Jakes, I believe, said. What is poppin'? We finished the conference thing. It was um fun. Your camera did. All my cameras are dying because I had to switch through all of them. All my cams are dead. All my cams are dead. And now we have ended up at Krispy Kreme because they're doing a buy one get one deal every Saturday of the month. If you did not know that, go to your local Krispy Kreme and get some donuts. Hot and ready. Is Hot that and say? ready. Yeah. Wait, is that Caesars? No, it's not. Yeah. What's it called? <laughs> little Caesars. Is it Little Caesars hot and ready? Little Caesars. Little Caesars. Little Caesars. <laughs> Take a shot every time we say Caesars. <laughs> it's a hot and ready pizza, right? Yeah, yeah but Bandala. this is also hot and ready. They can't do that. We're getting four boxes of donuts for two little people. At least I have neighbors I'm gonna share with. You can take one of your receipts, but it's alright. Do you want the receipt? Oh no, it's okay. I don't need one. Mm -hmm. Would you like your, your no. receipt? Oh no, it's okay. Oh, <laughs> we had them backwards. I'm so confused. You did. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Back. It's so awkward. I wanted to run away. I just want to take a picture of me right now with four boxes of donuts in my lap. Wait, let me take a picture of you. What is up you guys? I am now home. So as you guys saw earlier, me and Naomi went through the Krispy Kreme drive-thru because they were having buy one get one for a dozen like dollar deal every weekend in October. Say less. My family loves Krispy Kreme donuts so of course I had to treat them three boxes because she didn't want one of hers. I'm home now from the conference event thing. This battery is actually dying and I don't have any extra ones for it. So just to kind of quickly sum up how I am feeling right now. I loved every second of it. Pretty much there were six speakers and all of them were just strong independent women coming from all different types of backgrounds and they just went up there and spoke and we're just so wise and influential and I definitely feel like I walked away from that event like with something, like something new that I did not know before. It was fun just getting to like shoot stuff like this. I never have I ever filmed a conference type situation which was nerve wracking at first but once we got going it all fell into place. And it's so crazy because just the other day I was editing my painting with me video which if you guys haven't seen it it's already up on my main channel by now. I talked a lot in that video about my future and like where I see myself going in life and I'm actually planning on quitting my job once I graduate college and just committing myself creatively to what I can do full time. The idea of that has always been like nerve wracking and I've never thought I would do it until now and then today I went to this event and this lady literally said the words that came out of my mouth not too long ago how she noticed that she was worth more than just a corporate job and she was more creative than that and she feels in her soul that she was meant to do more than just make six figures in a corporate job so she quit that security and that job and she went off and did greater things creatively that filled her purpose and i feel like that's exactly the situation i'm in so it was really weird to like go to this event and like hear someone say the exact words that I was just feeling the other day and like that's just the reassurance I needed and I think it was kind of a sign and I was meant to go to this thing last minute. Thank you Naomi for watching this because that just like pushed me like even more as like a this is what you need to do. I'm excited. I don't know. I have until a couple more months obviously until I graduate but in the meantime we're just going to continue working and saving and living life as it is and then you know when one journey ends a new one begins and i cannot wait for that to happen that is what i wanted to say about the conference that i didn't get to say earlier in the car now that i am home it is 6 30. my parents are out at dinner and i unfortunately did not get to go with them because i was at the conference a little later so i actually get to fend for myself 
We should start a new segment in the vlogs where Tati has to fend for herself and figure out how the hell she's gonna eat because I don't cook. I think tonight's choice is definitely gonna be ramen because it's a classic and I've been craving it for like three weeks now. It's really weird. I'm gonna throw in a nice glass of wine. I also have tons of homework I did not know I had due tonight, so I have to do that. Sucks for my family that they're not home because now I get to experience the first donut. All right, which one should we do? I always like to start in the corner, so we're gonna take that one. This just made my day so much better. Honestly, forget the ramen. I say we just have donuts for dinner. What is up you guys? Welcome to the next day. It is currently, we are getting a late start to today's vlog. It is 3.47 p.m. Sunday. And if you've been wondering what I've been doing all day, it's literally this. I woke up this morning at my normal like 7.30, 8 o'clock time. However, my legs are so beyond sore. Yesterday, me and Naomi were filming slash photographing a conference event. I spent like probably 95% of the time there squatting because my camera was like set up right in the front to get a good shot of them talking. And we had a camera like shooting in the back at the same time. So I wasn't allowed to like stand up and there weren't really any chairs around for me to sit. So I was like, it's fine. Like I'll just squat right here. Like this is why I've been working out every day. Chloe team coming in clutch. This morning when I woke up, when I tell you I could not move my legs out of bed, I kept trying to like get up, but I could not move my legs. Like my thighs and my hamstrings are so sore. It feels like I just had three days at cheer camp without a break. So my legs have been hurting all day, which means I haven't really done much besides lay here. I worked on a drawing for a friend of mine because if you guys know, I do like these baseless illustrations of people's photos. And I've been working on this pretty much all day because it's like the only thing I can do from my bed that's productive. That is the update. I just wanted to fill you guys in on what has been going on slash has not happened today. We will get to hanging up the clothes in a little bit, but in the meantime, I'm gonna go upload my mansion video. It is now 7.31 p.m. and I just had the weirdest experience ever. So I just ordered DoorDash for me and my mom, like Tijuana Flats for dinner. And I've used DoorDash a lot of times. I probably use it more than Uber Eats. I ordered our food probably at like 6.30, okay? It's been an hour. And I get all the confirmations and updates about my order being received, it being prepared, it being picked up. It's on my way to me, everything's good. I'm editing and then this random number starts calling me and I just keep declining it and then they texted me and was like hi this is your DoorDash driver please I'm trying to contact you pick up and I was like mm, okay like I know they do that sometimes but I've never had to experience that so I was like okay so I pick up and he's like hi and he knows my name and he's like telling me that the place Tijuana is having a problem with their internet and their POS system and they're having to cancel all orders and that I need to go in the app and cancel it and I was like okay so then I at first think it's legit so I go into the app and I see that my order has actually been picked up already by a female this is a male on the phone and it is on my way to me but the driver also on the map was showing she was on i4 which is like there's no reason to go on i4 because Tijuana is like five minutes from my house that was kind of like two red flags I was like mm, not a boy also why is my driver who is a girl on the interstate so I'm like on the phone with him like okay like give me one second he's like yeah take your time like it's fine he's like I'm gonna walk you through the process of what you need to do you're gonna go click on help you're gonna click cancel and they're gonna actually give a credit to you for your order since you know it was our fault and I'm like okay this sounds legit so I do it and then right afterwards he's like okay I'll see you in 20 minutes and I was like hello you don't why you don't have any food so I was like do I need to replace my order and then you'll pick it up but even then so they always assign new drivers to when you put a new order so he wouldn't have even been the same dasher if that makes sense as I asked that question and he goes to answer me the phone cuts off and he's gone and I was like, what do I do? Now my food's been canceled. And I know sometimes they like to charge you extra if you tend to cancel it while it's like en route to you. So I go in the app. It says it's been canceled. I don't see a credit of anything to my account. So I replace the order again. And so I called DoorDash. I explained the situation. And he was like, that sounds sus, but we will refund you the money so you don't get charged twice. I was like, thank you. I just have never experienced that before. Like, that's kind of weird. I don't know. He could have been honestly been telling the truth partially maybe he sounded so sincere so it was like kind of hard to tell if it was like a scam or not but I feel like I really just got scammed because I didn't see a credit anywhere and I would have been charged twice had I not called DoorDash and he even confirmed like yeah it's showing up here you've been charged twice 
we're not gonna give you a credit of any store like haven't heard of that issue that was just my little story time i wanted to share with you guys because that was really weird now i'm just gonna wait for my t1 to get here so i can enjoy it i am just now uploading my painting with me video so by the time this vlog goes up my main channel video of this will already be up so i'll have it linked down below i'm actually like really happy with how it came out and i'm nervous because usually when i get excited for videos like this they don't really perform well because it's like stuff that i personally like and that's not you know following the trends or whatever it was very different i liked how i edited it and i don't know so i will have a link down below feel free if you want to listen to it it's more like a podcasty type video i feel like it's not one of those that you have to really like sit and watch you can just like leave it playing in the back and just listen to me talk about all things life also update with the hangers i honestly don't know if we're gonna get to it today my mom came in here and told me i really need to do it and i agree with her what was that? Procrastination. Procrastination. My number one fan. What can I say? I know if I don't do it tonight, it's not going to happen at all. So, um, can you also approve my thumbnail? Our DoorDash came, and not only did me and my moms both come, but it came twice. I'm getting a refund for the one, but I now have four things to flaw test. This is just spectacular. So now I have lunch for tomorrow. It is 10 o'clock at night and I'm gonna play some music and hang up all my clothes on the hangers and then go to bed. I said I was gonna do it in the vlog, so I'm gonna do it in this vlog and then we're gonna peace out. So let's do this. I just finished hanging up all of my clothes and it looks so good. Everything just looks super put together and like very aesthetic. I have a whole bin of dirty clothes I have to wash. I'm gonna have to order another two packs. I feel like they just broke down like so much space. Like everything is just super like slim and has its spot and I don't have to worry about anything falling off the hangers which was like my main issue. Everything was like falling down. Hangers were a success again i'll have them linked down below in the description if you guys want to check out which hangers i bought but i'm going to now get into bed it is 10 30 way past my bedtime and i have to work tomorrow which is a first i have not worked a monday in so long it'll be nice because then i'll have a new schedule to kind of switch up my routine i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog if you made it to the end thank you for watching and i will see you guys all in my next one bye